Hey, 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 what's going on kids and heroes? It is me, Rue, coming to you live from my Jeep. Just want to tell you a few things today. Check it in, haven't really spoken in a while. YouTube in 2018. Stinks. Stinks a lot, actually. It was bad enough when they demonetized the smaller channels in favor of pandering to no talent overacting fakes like Logan Paul the market the YouTube market got so oversaturated so over over just oh my god I feel like I feel like it's you're in a, you're in a trash heap of complete hypodermic needles in bags and you've got to sift your way through the bags filled with hypodermic needles to get your video seen to get visibility for your video. It really is sad. And it's it's not even it's not even about doing it for the money because clearly I don't do this for the money. I do it, you know, as an outlet. Some people say, "Oh, that's your hobby." I don't like using the word hobby. I like using the word outlet. It's my outlet. So recently a video that I that I that I produced uh, wasn't even a, you know, a produced video would be uh, one from Keystone Comic Con with Philip Bunt, a video that I, you know, I had a little extra clip from Monster Mania this past summer, uh, interviewing this dude with a championship belt. I put it on there. YouTube froze the video, the views on it. Why would they, well, come to find out they froze the, the views on the video is because I was clicking on it too many times, answering comments on my own video. And they're cracking down on this. Like, really, they're cracking down on small time creators who aren't making any money anyway anymore. I was in 2016 when I was on MakerGen, uh, a smaller uh, creator network. But they're cracking down on creators, specifically somebody like me who's been producing content for YouTube since 2016. 2016. <laughs> 10 years before that, 2006, okay? I was around way, 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 I, I, I hate to yell. I hate to yell. Who likes to yell? I don't know. I'm a little fired up. That's okay. It's okay, it's okay to get fired up sometimes when you're passionate about something. I've been creating content for YouTube since 2006. Because none of it's gone viral, they don't give a crap. They really don't. They don't care about the smaller channels. They, call, they care about ad rev. They care about, monot you know, monopolizing eyeballs, you know, and, and just the bigger channels. Well, I have to tell you, the, <laughs> I don't know what YouTube is going to become because I'm looking at some of the bigger channels. I'll give you a perfect example. Um, you know, somebody like, you know, some of the people, I'm not, you know, I'm not even going to name his name, but he's doing it. Uh, he has a comedy YouTube channel and he's doing daily vlogs now. And I know exactly the reason why he's doing daily vlogs, because it's cheaper to produce. It doesn't pay to put all this time and effort into, you know, producing comedy content when, you know, the video is just not going to get the visibility that you want. It doesn't make, it really doesn't make, it makes, if you really look at it from a business sense, you really should be promoting the smaller channels so we should, and visibility to smaller channels, so we should, can get that visibility to grow to the point where maybe there, you know you can start making money again and helping the YouTube, it's all on the same damn website, it's all YouTube. So in the end, you're really bringing viewership and clicks to the website itself. So it doesn't make a difference. You know, it's not like Rue TV is, you know, RooTV.com. It's all YouTube.com slash RooTV. So it, in the end, YouTube is going to benefit from helping a smaller channel. It makes no sense. It really does. And I'm seeing the bigger channels, you know, go the way of the daily vlog and doing, going the way of daily content. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to do that. I can't do that. Nobody really gives a crap. I got it. This is how it's going to be for a long, long time. Um, 
you know, it really stinks that there isn't a second mainstream video platform in the United States. It really, really does. And I know a couple have tried. I know Vimeo uh, it, it has, has its own niche market and they do really well. It's a great website. I can promote that. My friend Mark uh, Sersosimo works for them. Great, great platform. But again, if you're looking for eyeballs and if you're looking for visibility, I don't necessarily know that it's uh, the platform for that. And I'm in a weird position because I have, you know, close to, I think, you know, seven, closer to, you know, I'm inching up on 800 subscribers, which is nothing, nothing, nothing in the YouTube world. Um, what's going to happen is you're going to see less videos from people that care and more videos from people who just want to make a buck and get content. Quantity over quality. That's pretty much it. And you know what? I don't give a name. Today. Look at Ed Bassmaster's channel right now. Okay. I don't have a problem with him anymore. So if, it, if you're saying it's beef, it's not a beef. I'm over that. I'm beyond past the beef with him. He's a hilarious YouTube comedian. But look at his channel right now. And look at compared to two years ago. And why do you think that is? They're obviously not getting paid off like like they used to. They're obviously not getting the visibility. So you might as well just produce cheap videos and daily vlogs. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Yes, I'm frustrated, but that's what happens in life. You know, that's what happens. Uh, I do miss YouTube 2006. I do, and, and my one regret in life, and I don't have many regrets, but my one regret in life is I wish I would have stuck with it in 2008 because in 2008 and it would have been, it would have been tough though because I got a full-time job I was getting married at the time or you know serious relationship at the time which ended up in a marriage um, and, I, and it was I couldn't do it but I wish I could have found the time to continue it because I left the game for a couple years even though I was still producing videos uh, you know my <laughs> my uh, late dog biscotti and things like that but the comedy push was gone um, I wish I would have stuck with it during that time period and things would have been a little different if I knew you know But you don't know then what you know now. That's just life. So Anyway, just check it in uh, Yeah, <laughs> some, that's some uh, some info on the YouTube world the YouTube community There's a lot of good youtubers out there that are that are still producing good content uh, But I'm not going to conform to what the trend is and what I should be doing I'm still gonna be doing what I want to do and that is later this month, Tony Malibu is going trick-or-treating in Hamilton. That's going to be a video. Later on this month, my good new friend Philip Bunt is going to go to a Halloween party in Deptford, New Jersey at a uh, bar, Delphia. That's going to be a new video. And uh, spoiler alert, big spoiler alert. I haven't announced this. I've been teasing it on Twitter. Herb Cracker Jack is going to New York City this Christmas. Her, a very Herb Christmas, I don't know what the, I, don't know, I didn't think of the name for it. A very Cracker Jack Christmas in New York City, Herb Cracker Jack this December. There you go. There you go. I don't know that I'm doing what I want to do with my channel. If four people watch, if 14, if 400, if negative four, I don't give a crap. This is what I do. This is my outlet. Thank you for watching. I love you. Stay tuned. Stay informed. And eat well.